Now, a couple of days ago, uh, I did a video on this fly here. Now, this is basically a dynamite harry, uh, and what I've done here is added a tail to it. That's all. Basically, added the tail, and uh, because it it worked so well for me, and I thought obviously while I was tying some more because I ran out. Uh, I will show you this pattern, as well as some of the other ones I tied. Now this one obviously I have on YouTube, uh, you'll find it, uh, Dynamite Harry. Uh, so basically that one, and then one of the other ones I held up was, uh, where are we? It was a, basically a, it's common sense colour combinations that you basically can't go wrong. Uh, this one here, uh, basically what it's got is uh, I like Cahill body, just lightly. Uh, it's got the, the hair's ear for the thorax. It's got a, a dun uh, for the, the hackle. And again, much the same, it's a medium dun coloured. And that's the arrow wing in this one. I use different fibres on this one. I'm going to show you other ones. It's, I've used the, a, basically a, um, a poly, poly pro. So, but anyway, this is the, the grey version, and again, it's another a great pattern. And then, best known grey fly, uh, that fly, would be your iron blue. This one here, just all I've basically done is I changed the, uh, the thread, shred red. Uh, tail slightly darker, just the dark bardo. Um I stuck to the medium done, the dark done was just a wee bit too dark for me. And again, much the medium done hackle. And again, that'd be the iron blue. Though this is this size, I would probably go. I mean, with these you can go go much smaller. You can use the same pattern to start smaller. You could go maybe one size bigger if you want. And uh, so basically, that'd be the iron blue version. Uh, March brown. This one I, I didn't tie. Uh, I try. So I only I looked at the materials I had. And this is a it's a kind of rough and ready looking fly like, but. Firstly, I used the yellow thread, I used the hair's ear for the thorax. Now, for the tail, I used the, uh, basically, I'll tell you the name of the, oh, the colour, uh, the colour of the, it's an amazing colour. Well, there's the Cote de Leon. It's far darker, it's got a lovely colour. So that blend, the, the Cote de Leon fibre, it basically shows up really well through the, the fibre, through the, uh, the Poly Pro in this case, which is a, a light tan and brown mix that I used. I've used the same grizzle, this uh, straw light grizzle hackle that I, was, I tied on the olive version. It's gold straw, it's called. Um, it's basically a lovely colour. Um, it's called this, the, the tail, the fibre I use is called uh, Dark Orange Burnt. They call it De Leon. And you see the it adds to the if you can see it in the light, there we go. You got a better chance if the light hits it right. So that blend the crop de layering into the body makes a difference. That's for me that's what changed I mean the fly the, was working fine, but doing the crop de layering like this it absolutely works brilliant, like no idea. So anyway that's the the Amarch Brown. And as the season goes on, we've got the yellow maze. We've got the this one here, again, this one I used a, a Poly Pro, it's an old packet, I'll show you here, Poly Pro in yellow, you can you can still buy it, uh, it makes for a great wing and, and body impression, so, and again with this one I used a yellow thread, I used a burnt or, or an orange, or a sulphur colour for the thorax, the grizzle hackle, um, you could use uh, dyed yellow or so, or just use the same one, it's a, a great colour. It's a colour that gives, it's a great impression, you could make it obviously brighter, you make it more yellow. But sometimes I prefer it slightly more like that than actually too bright, because the, the wing and the body is bright enough. So you, you, sometimes you need that, and it, give, it gives a great imprint. And they like Pardo also for the for the tail, for the for that. And then, on to, like, we're still into May, now you, just to show you, the, this is a, the Lars Mayfly, it would come off in the loss, uh, especially in Ireland. It's just a basic big version of uh, this one. So basically I made it bigger and uh, for the bit larger mayfly. 
and this would represent more of the done coming off because of the colour combination and then you would go from that one to the knot and as I say it's just a bigger version of the, the original one I tied and the one that's on YouTube uh, and then you go into the, the knot, the spent knot which is again it's, this is the Poly Pro it's got the the light pardo you can go dark again if you can see it best let me turn it away from the vice if you look in there the, the light when this is wet you've got the the cotyledon fibre it shows up really well gives that nice marking that you'd get in the natural and the spent uh, there's still a parachute the only difference I've done here is I brought, I brought through some floss just to split the wing a wee bit there's a badger hackles done as a uh, parachute but I've drawn back it with a, a dark dubbing just to, to darken the thorax so basically that's some of the patterns I've got other ones I'll be tying uh, as I go along as, to represent smaller uh, flies that's coming off um, all mayflies, olives, stuff like that uh, I'll be tying like a grey duster right it's, it's a, another fly that I like it's called a, a larkin grey these are old patterns that are local to where I fish and I'll be doing versions of that fly uh, using this style and why am I doing it? it's just because it's something different as well but it works I mean I have no idea how well these work they're a great pattern, uh, it's a great style so why not And so there's some of the patterns that I've actually put together and uh, it's, let's see probably this one here with the weather it is today with the olives coming off the darker colour works like this one here so anyway I hope you enjoyed that and uh, tie the flies as I said I'm just answering some questions that have been asked about other patterns so I'll hopefully do some more videos on some of the flies like this and see how they go and thank you for watching